Hey yo, I'm Miss Linnea Lark and welcome back to my pottery and hand building series. In this video I'm going to show you how to use and alter wheel thrown pieces to create decorative details on your pottery. Here we go. First, make sure you have a thrown pot and you've fixed up its foot. If you're in my pottery class, you know that you need to trim that foot on the wheel. I realize I didn't trim my foot, but then, hey, I'm not in a high school pottery class. <laughs> Don't begrudge me. Practice makes perfect, or at least less of a train wreck sometimes. Anyway, we got a pot, and now it's time to throw some shapes to add on later. I decided to throw some skinny disc shapes. For this technique, you can see that I'm using my needle tool to cut the discs off of the clay cone. Since it's a cone shape, my discs will get larger the lower I cut, giving me a variety of shapes to choose from. You can make discs or cones or cylinders. Anything goes. And as long as whatever you create is thinner than your pinky finger, it should make it through a firing without disaster. But you can experiment with different techniques and shapes. Get crazy. Just remember we're going to be altering these shapes later on. There'll be endless options available to you as to how you use them and cut them up and remake them. As you can see, I made a variety of diameters. Even though I'm committed to a disc shape, I want to have options on how to use them later and how big they might be. I flip all the discs over so that they can be as flat as possible while they set up. As you can see on the bottom side, the needle tool left quite a mess. I don't want to fix that mess now, I want it to set up a bit first. Since my discs are pretty thin, they set up pretty fast. I tried a few different tools to clean up the grit on the back side, but the metal scraper's firmness won out in the end. After scraping the rough texture down, I used my sponges to smooth them out. Once it was smooth with good craftsmanship, I cut it in half. Notice that I'm regularly spraying the discs as they are thin and I need them to stay leather hard to attach later. Take some time to play around with your options. Try different sizes, places, and arrangements. It's totally cool if you end up changing your design. Don't feel pressure to create something expected if you're not feeling it. I find and mark the middle cross section of the pot so I can later have a symmetrical design. Now that I know where I'll be attaching the discs, I have to make sure that the flat side of the disc that will later attach to the rounded pot has the same rounded contour. It'll be like fitting puzzle pieces together. You don't want to attach a straight edge to a rounded pot, or at least that's not the look I was going for. So I place the disc where it will go, close one eye, and sketch the rounded shape of the pot onto the disc and then cut the excess away. I do this for each of the three discs that will be stair-stepping downward. It's important to measure each one separately because the curvature of the pot is different in different locations. Once I get all the unique contours cut onto the three discs, I set them on top of their other halves and cut them to match. This is because I will have two identical designs on either side of the pot. Now that I know how I want to attach all the parts, I attach the first disc, measuring its distance from the top rim. I want to attach three discs on each side of the pot each stair stepping down creating a wave effect. So I also make sure to measure the distance between them so that I can duplicate the sequence on the other side of the pot. As I slip and score these discs onto my pot, I make sure to clean up the excess slip before moving on so that I can have easy access and not knock the discs about while I'm cleaning up. And then it's just the final touch ups. And there she is. We've got some wheel thrown parts hand built onto a pot. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Our next two hand building techniques will be using slabs. And hey, if you learned something or enjoyed something here today, like the video and subscribe to my channel. And comment if you have a question. Happy day.